Hey everyone, this is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. We have the brand new Samsung Galaxy S5 here in the office and with it comes a fingerprint reader inside the home button. We'll walk you through how to set that up and how it works in this video. Okay, so we have the Galaxy S5 open. I'm in the settings menu and then you're going to select fingerprint scanner to register your fingerprints. So we're going to click that manage it since we don't have any registered right now and it's telling us that we have to uh, we can use our thumb for the fingerprint lo fingerprint lock rather and the verify your Samsung account also PayPal uh, is adding support for that too so here we go register the fingerprint I'm going to take my thumb and swipe down we got one with a green light there two three four five six seven eight so again, this requires a swipe, so it's a little different than say the iPhone 5S where you just sort of push your fingerprint on and, and give it different uh, angles. So enter a password here, let's say uh, Todd, okay? Your fingerprint has been registered, type OK to go to the select screen to lock. So basically now we're going to go here and select the way to unlock the phone. I'm going to say fingerprint because that's the way we want to do it. We have one fingerprint registered, my thumb, and we should be all set here. Okay, so now when the phone is locked, see right here it's locked, we have the option to choose an alternate password or as this says here, we can use my thumb to unlock the phone. Didn't work on the first try. So it took four tries right there, but it eventually worked and now we're inside the phone. So generally I've found with the iPhone 5S it works a lot better than the swipe mechanism here and obviously it wasn't that accurate there even though I registered my fingerprint uh, eight times in the settings menu. So I think Samsung could do a bit better to make it more accurate. Is it a big deal that you're just swiping several times to unlock the phone? No. And we can see even right now if it works better but here's one, two, three. So that took three times right there. I think they could work on the accuracy, but overall not that bad and it's certainly another option for unlocking your phone as opposed to a password or a um, pattern or anything like that. Okay, that was a quick look at the fingerprint reader on the Galaxy S5. Let us know what you think in the comments down below and if you have any other questions be sure to let us know too. What's up everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.